Hi YouTubers, David Smith here and welcome to my home tutorials. Now in Algebra Lesson 2 we multiplied out brackets resulting in a quadratic equation of the form x squared plus bx plus c. Now if we rewrite the quadratic in the form of a x squared plus bx plus c this means that the coefficient of x squared namely a is equal to 1 so we're now going to multiply out brackets to give quadratic equations where the coefficient of x squared is not equal to 1 in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So let's have a look at a few examples. 6x plus 2 times x minus 3. Again, drawing the foil in. It's always a good idea to draw the foil. We have 6x times x, which is 6x squared plus 2 times minus 3 is minus 6 2 times x gives you plus 2x and 6x times minus 3 gives you minus 18x Collecting the like terms we have 6x squared plus 2x minus 18x leaves you with minus 16x and minus 6 so we can write 6x plus 2 times x minus 3 equals 6x squared minus 16x minus 6. Now let's have a look at another example. 3y minus 1 times y minus 3 so we have the foil so 3y times y gives 3y squared minus 1 times minus 3 gives you plus 3 minus 1 times y gives minus y and 3y multiplied by minus 3 gives minus 9y now collecting the like terms again we have 3y squared sorry minus 10y plus 3. So we can write 3y minus 1 multiplied by y minus 3 equals 3y squared minus 10y plus 3. So we've expanded the brackets. Let's say 2x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 4. Again, we write the foil 1, 2, 3, 4. So 2x times x gives us 2x squared. 1 times minus 4 gives you minus 4. 1 times x gives us x and 2x times minus 4 gives us minus 8x. Collecting the like terms we have 2x squared plus x and minus 8x gives us minus 7x minus 7x and then minus 4. So we can write 2x plus 1 
multiplied by x minus 4 equals 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. Now here are a couple of examples. I'll give you a few minutes to work through them yourself and then I'll work through them with you. Right, so let's look at example one first. Again, we'll use the foil. One, two, three, and four. So this time, we've got two x times three x, which gives us six x squared. We have minus five times plus two, which gives minus 10. We then have minus 5 times 3x which gives us minus 15x and then we have 2x times 2 which gives us 4x plus 4x. Collecting the like terms we have 6x squared Minus 15x plus 4x leaves us with minus 11x and we have the minus 10 at the end. So we can write 2x minus 5 multiplied by 3x plus 2 equals 6x squared minus 11x minus 10. Now let's have a look at example 2. In example 2, the equations were the same apart from the signs were changed. So we have 2x plus 5 multiplied by 3x minus 2. Now let's see what happens. So number 1, 2x times 3x gives us 6x squared number 2 5 times minus 2 gives us minus 10 number 3 5 times 3x gives us plus 15x and number 4 minus 2 times 2x gives us minus 4x now again gathering the like terms we have 6x squared plus 15x minus 4x gives you plus 11x and then we've got the minus 10 on the end. So we can say 2, sorry 6, sorry 2, x plus 5 times 3x minus 2 equals 6x squared plus 11x minus 10 and if you notice here the only thing that's changed is the is the um, value of x where it is positive instead of negative so we've got plus 11x instead of minus 11x well that's my final example so if you have any comments or other examples you'd like me to go through, then post them in the comments box. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. I hope you've got a lot out, I hope you've got a lot out of the, the videos and I'll see you soon.